Without Moore, and Moore is having trouble with Mike Williams. And that time they didn't they didn't sag on him. It was one on one. Ten now for Powell and a turnover. It's a steal. Harsey Hawkins will glide for a goal. And Bradley is taking charge of the game at Loyola. 20 points for Hawkins. 65 to 58. What a game. Oh, that for two guards, same team. Hmm. 40 points so far in this one. Hayward glances one off the window and he shot it there. Except we pointed out at the beginning. They lost 46 points with Battle and Hughes. Hayward will probably give him 20 right away. He's got 15 already. Chicago lads against Chicago lads. Greg Jones, a couple of former Chicago Catholic League coaches. Hawkins again! Bradley by seven. Not much to say now. He just sit back and watch him shoot it up. Play Batman. A sizzling second half performance by Hersey Hawkins and the Braves. Golston on the move. He missed. And Jim Less with yet another rebound. Bradley keeps on the hunt. They want to put the pressure on. I Ivan Young's having trouble with Powell Low. Moore sinking away to help him. Hawkins is free. Bradley rebounds. Jones missed and a foul. Greg Jones went to the board and all of a sudden it's the men in red who are hogging the board. With this music in the back, I think I should be saying holy moly, Frank. And <laughs> zap, zow, everything else. Here's the flying Hersey Hawkins going into the lane. Three Braves corral the ball. They're going to get something out of this, you know, as Jones goes back up. He's a tremendous rebounder at only 6'4", but he just has that sense. He played center at Robeson here in Chicago and he knows how to play inside and Adrian Dantley I guess is the best way to try to compare him four fouls on Ivan Young and Greg Jones puts it down he weighed over 230 last year they have him listed at 214 now and you can see that he's in better shape and ready to play here's another Donald Powell rebounded it blocked away but Hawkins put it down on the floor it's gonna be a jump ball and the possession will go to Loyola. Len Bertolini will come in for the first time for Bradley. Bertolini checks in. Greg Jones out and gets a pat on the back from Dick Versace. Following tonight's contest, stay tuned for News 25. Kelly Morgan will present the final installment of her series on Central Illinois Whiz Kids. A look at a teenage tycoon with a number of patents to his name. Latest news from Tom McIntyre, Christine Zach, Phil Hulhan with the weather, and Mark Strauss will have the sports. News 25 at 10. Ivan Young puts Loyola within six. at 68 to 62, and he's in double figures at 11. Bradley now has Les and Bertolini, Hawkins, Williams, and Powell. Bertolini in for the first time. Of course, another Chicago native, St. Patrick, Jimmy Less. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Thank you, John Wooden. Off the glass and perfect. And that's 22 now for Jimmy Less. Eight-point Bradley lead. Just under 10 minutes left in this sizzler in Chicago. Inside, Young to Moore. And Andre Moore just finger-rolled with down. He has 19. And neither team will go away. Less Williams comes out high and Powell plays low. Oh, Les fell down and Mike Williams pass went the other way. Yeah, as soon as as soon as Mike saw Jimmy falling down, the ball was just about to leave his fingers. One of those things that you hate to see happen, but they're gonna. But now Oil try to get back in again. How many times have we said this? 70 to 64 is Bradley's lead. And the defense changes again here's a ball loose Loyola's under their own goal no, no. see the back look at the, look at the coaches here Mike they're working Gene Sullivan <laughs> better be careful he's straddling that line again maybe we should remind him about this box it's his place <laughs> no it's not it's false <laughs> trying to set the post is Ivan Young he does he's surrounded Bradley's defense is good. Outside shot down. Mike Sinar just checked in. 6-5. And it's a four-point Bradley lead. Sinar oh. gets his first. Oh, what a surprise. He can shoot too. Sinar averaged about two and a half a game last year. Bertolini to Mike Williams. And Mike Williams slid by and smacked it off the glass. Seven for Mike. All of them in the second half. 
There's an offensive foul, I believe. Let's see. No, it went the other way. Hayward looked like he led with the arm, but Hawkins was not set. And Dick Versace is really mad about this. It's on Hawkins, his fourth. Boy, not much to add to that picture. Dick knows there's trouble ahead. Hayward did everything in his power to get an offensive foul, but I just don't think Hersey was quite set. 8.42 to go in the game, and Hawkins gets his fourth foul. Boy, this kid's playing some game for his first collegiate basketball game. Amazing. He missed that, but Loyola's all over the ball. Now Mike Williams just pitched it up ahead, and Golston went and got it. And a foul on Bertolini. Mike Williams threw it up ahead thinking that Bradley could get to it, but Golston did. Tough position for Len Bertolini to be in. This game has had such a quick pace, and suddenly he comes off cold off the bench. Sometimes Williams had the right idea, but he just threw it to the wrong guy, and you watch him try to trap him over there, and Lenny just got caught. It's interesting, Bertolini and Lesson in the backcourt. Bertolini was thinking about going to the same high school at Jimmy Lesson one time, Niles Notre Dame. But that terrible snowstorm happened up here in 1979. Bertolini said, heck with that, I don't want to travel too far. So he stuck at St. Patrick's and became the city player of the, uh, player of the year at St. Patrick's in 1983. Golston, the captain of the Ramblers, has 13 and can get Loyola within four again. He didn't. But the rebound came down. And Loyola's Young missed a shot, and Mike Williams rebounds for the Braves. They lead by five, 72, 67, eight and a half to go. Frank Bassoni and Mike Dimmick on WEK TV 25. Hope you're enjoying it. Donald Powell, bang! And we don't see him do a whole lot. Didn't think his range went beyond more than about 15, but that was a good 18-footer. He's just a youngster. The sophomore's coming on. He's got a dozen. His favorite show, Miami Vice. And it's coming up, too. Here's a tip ball. Les dives. It's on the floor and a foul on Lynn Bertolini. Bodies were flying. Les went for the ball one way, Golston the other. Now, as you see Bertolini walk back to the sideline, and we get another look. Golston's just kind of going wild here. And Dick Versace has found himself in a bit of a dilemma. At the off guard now, he has Hersey Hawkins, four fouls, Bertolini, two fouls, and really having a little bit of trouble getting into the flow of this game. Loyola's going to make a change with Dave Klusendorf, a 6'8 junior in, and Gerald Hayward, 6'6 six, six and 220, a freshman out. Golston looks like he's been through a battle. It has been tonight. And he made another. Bradley by a half dozen. Now we expected a corker of a game at the top of the broadcast, and we've had every bit of that. And Dick Versace's prediction about maybe taking 90 points to win and may come true. There's a timeout on the court. It's Bradley by five, and we'll come back in Chicago in just a moment. Who's gonna be at the Silver Bullet tonight? Rob, will you get a chance? So, are you gonna call her? I'm thinking about it. Two cores light, Rob. What's there to think about call her? I said I might. Arnold, there were a hundred guys in here last night, and she talked to you. Jack, I was sitting on her coat. It's a very unique approach. Give me the quarter. Rob, you got a quarter. There's no slowing down with the silver bullet tonight. Coors Light Beer. Now at Cohen's during Lee's factory authorized sale, carpet your home with beautiful, long-wearing Lee's carpeting. 40 yards, including padding and installation, just $5.25. Luxurious Lee's carpeting, sculptured or plush, with a 10-year limited warranty. Enough to carpet a 12 by 18 foot living room, a 9 by 12 foot dining room and hall. Just $5.25 complete. All Lee's carpeting on sale now during Lee's factory authorized sale at Cohen's, downtown Peoria, Sheridan Village, Pekin, Bloomington, and Springfield. A sunny weekend, but cold for it. No reason to go away tonight. Bradley, five-point lead here at Loyola with about eight minutes to go. Don't leave after the game. Miami Vice will follow, and then News 25 at 10. 
at the half Loyola led 40 to 37 and led free throw shooting 18 to 3 they had tried 18 and made 12 Bradley 3 for 3 second half Bradley's 8 out of 10 at the foul line and the Ramblers five out of eight and one re reason is that Bradley's really going to the board and Mike Williams has really reasserted himself particularly in that first seven eight minutes he got seven points right now and all seven have come in the second half and maybe just as important he's just been more aggressive and that causes the defense to make mistakes and put guys on the foul line Jerry Thomas started this game but Powell has played more in the second half Trimpe is in now Bertolini is out and this will see the lineup as Dick Versace goes down the stretch with a five-point lead here. Powell couldn't go down. And Klusendorf they rebounds. Bet, they better pick up Golson quickly here. You don't want to let him get on a roll. Young charging. And he's out of the game. Ivan Young went to the baseline determined to go to the goal. Here's the look. He thought he had the baseline, but here's Williams sliding over, waited, planted, and he's gone. And Bruce Mordini is going to come off the Bradley bench. For Loyola's Ramblers, Gerald Hayward will come back. Oh, what a bargain there, huh? You get rid of Young and you get this guy who's having the game of his life in his first game. 11 points for Ivan Young. And there he goes to the sidelines. The senior from Simeon. Good effort. He's strong. I think Bradley's got Mordini in and Donald Powell out because of that one shot selection Dick's probably telling him about. And you'll see him back. If you take those 18 footers, you better make all of them. One out of three is Mike Williams from the free throw line. One rolled in. And we're in a hornet's nest called Alumni Hall in DePaul, where Bradley now leads 75 to 69. This is something Loyola also, they want to get back into it. The crowd has definitely not been a home crowd for the last five or six minutes, and they're going to have to get them a little bit more involved. Williams misses the second one, and Andre Moore with yet another rebound. Maybe if we hear Batman again, that would get him going. Sinar punches at the Klusendorf. Or maybe that. Boy, this guy's something else against Bradley. He's kind of like that kid... Uh, Demetrius Henderson at Drake, who looks like all world when he plays Bradley. Eyes just light up. Mike Williams, double team, goes in anyway, throws it up, no. And Loyola Ramblers can cut it to two. Golston, more, yes. You see the points, you hear the crowd, and again the game shifts. It's a two-point Bradley game with 650, and Bradley now must answer. Mordini out top. Hawkins started to go and saved a pass that nearly went out of bounds. Williams missed. Mordini didn't. Boy, Mordini is great at making the little contribution at a great time, and there was one of them. Braves keep the lead and hike it to four, his first bucket. A board crasher. Bruce Mordini gave Bradley the lead. Andre Moore gets ranged like that from a 6'10 frame. Oh, here we go again. 77, 75, Bradley, 6.08 to play. Here comes Big Mike wow. traveling. Well, the execution wasn't right, but the Braves have to try to take advantage of this matchup. Williams should be able to handle Klusendorf inside. They've gone to him two straight times. How long will Gene Sullivan decide to go with that matchup, however? Remember, Hawkins, four fouls. Young is gone with fouls. Les has three. Inside, Andre Moore again. And he is on fire. The game is tied at 77. 25 for Andre Moore. Jim Molinari said earlier he might be better than anybody we have. And Dick Versace says timeout. 5.39 to go. We'll be back. Stay with us. John Beer Subaru will pay you $500 for a car buyer. 
Bring in your mother, your brother, your neighbor, your friend, and if they buy a selected front-wheel drive Subaru, you get $500. Subaru is rated higher in customer satisfaction than any Japanese or American car. And with winter coming, you'll need Subaru's quality and front-wheel drive traction. Plus, with the holidays coming, you can't afford to pass up a big $500 Subaru bonus. Only at John Beer's Subaru and Leasing on Pioneer Parkway. Aging, just as important to beer as it is to wine. Aging gives beer something called balance, just the right combination of flavors and aromas. Of course, thinks that aging is so important, they age their beer longer than any other major brewer. They use the time to age out a lot of the heaviness, a lot of the bitter aftertaste you'll find in many other beers. So when you want a beer that's a little smoother, but with all the spirit of a great beer, Coors is the one. summarize this game sort of like this wow yeah. wow and seesaw <laughs> back and forth Bradley if you remember one time had a 12 point lead in the first half Loyola had the lead at halftime they had the lead into the third into the second half Bradley took it back 539 to go and we start all over again at 77 Bradley actually trailed 52 to 41 by 11 led by 12 Shrimpy's in with less Hawkins Williams and Powell Lusendorf again is guarding Williams inside. Let's see if they look for that. Andre Moore guarding Powell. So they take Powell away from the basket. Powell won't shoot way outside. They'll want to go to Hawkins inside, and he's there, and he's fouled. A great move by Hawkins, and Lusendorf got it. And give Trevor Trimpey the credit, too. He found him in Hawks' back door, and Klusendorf was way too late. Watch here. Trimpey on the bounce, right on the money. And Klusendorf is way too late again. Hawkins has all the skills. He's like uh, David Rivers at Notre Dame. They asked Dick River Phelps, what wouldn't you let him do? He said, I wouldn't let him pick my suits. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Dick's got a pretty sharp suit tonight, so he might, he might say the same thing. The rest of it he can do. And Hersey Hawkins gives Bradley the lead with his 23rd point in the game. The sophomore from Chicago Westinghouse got them both and didn't blink. Bradley by two, 5-14 to play. Frank Bassoni, along with Mike Dimmick at Alumni Hall in Chicago. If this is an indication of the season, we'll have some fun. Less rebounds the miss. Here come the Bray. Hawkins. Rebound Loyola. Nice job by Klusendorf there. He held his ground. Hayward the other, blocked by Powell. Bradley on the hunt. Jimmy Less. And Loyola. Bodies fall. Golston. Lost it. Oh. Bradley's got it. And the lead with 436. Is this something? Boy, one of those plays where you could just feel the air go out of both coaches. Sigh of relief and disappointment down on the other end. You can smell the rubber burning as they fly from one end to the other. Hawkins and Less. Golston. Mike Williams. Great dunk. Great over the uh, shoulder pass by the Hawk. That's now 10 for Mike all in the second half. Bradley by four. Hayward goes inside is held by the Braves. Yeah, that'll be Hawkins all. is gone. With 409. If it's on it is with 842 he got his fourth and now Hersey Hawkins. The Braves star guard goes out. There you take a look. Again, Hayward's been making a living on this baseline. Hawk tried to slide with him, but just could not stay in front. And when you're on the side and you got your hands inside, they're going to get the call. A great night for Hersey. 24 points now. We'll update that. But leaving with 4.09 to go. And in this game, that's a lot of time. The only time that Hersey Hawkins won't be in a close game, I would guess, is when he can't play because of something like this. Foul. Get his hand caught on the rim or his feet or something like that. <laughs> what a athlete he is. Len Bertolini, by the way, is in for a hawk. No pressure there. And the miss gives Bradley the rebound. Now Bertolini goes to the right side, Trempy to the left. Big Versace yelling T. That's their T game. Watch in the center. Mike Williams off the board. And Mike's got it back and got it down. A big half for Mike Williams of a dozen. Bradley by 
six. There's 3.43 to go, and Hayward fires and hits. Wow. In the pressure. Boy, UNLV wanted him, Marquette wanted him, and Gene Sullivan every once in a while keeps these little diamonds he finds here in Chicago, and Hayward is one of them. He does remind you of the great Al Frederick Hughes. Bertolini's wing left. Mike Williams is low, and he got it. Again, great awareness by Williams. He got caught between two players, didn't force it. And now again, we begin to think about North Point video, Plaza video, player of the game. Williams, certainly the player of the second half. 85-79 as Golston launched it, and the battle is on for the ball. Foul on Klusendorf of the Ramblers. I think he undercut less going for the ball. <laughs> I, th I think that was Jimmy's imitation of Percy Hawkins. Watch him. He's, he finds himself all alone, probably can't believe it, oh. and goes up and then comes down really hard. He really got jolted. I think he's going to ask for a towel. He's okay. He, he is really a strong young man. He really took a shot that time. Klusendorf is 6'8", about 205. But Jimmy Les will have a very pressure-packed mm. one-on-one here. 3-0-3 to play, Mike. He's the one guy you want to see on the foul line, Frank. 85% last year from the line. And that one's down. Bertolini gets some instructions for Versace, from Versace, and then relays it. Three out of three for Les at the foul line. He's at 23. Now 24 points apiece for the starting guards for Bradley. They lead by eight. 3-0-3 to play in Chicago. Now they can go back into the zone with that eight-point lead, and that's just what we're seeing, the 2-3. Watch for Andre Moore baseline. This is Golston. Trevor Trempy's got the ball, and Bradley's going to take a little time off that 45-second clock, probably for the first time. Boy, does that mean we can maybe rest? <laughs> the first time we even had to be concerned with a 45. The Rays, Braves would be wise, though, to be cognizant of that. 30 on the clock right now. Less on the cut. Bertolini is free. Boom. Bradley by 10. First two of the night for Lenny. Yeah, that's a big one. And Bradley has never relented on the pressure. They have taken the game to Loyola. Loyola style. Senar. Nice play by Mike. And he got it back. The clock is now Loyola's enemy too. Golston. Hayward. And a foul on the Braves, Mike Williams. That's three, and to Mike's credit, it's the first time he's picked up a foul here in the second half after getting the two early ones. Loyola has gone cold at a very bad time, but they get shot after shot here, and hey, we're doing his impression of a corkscrew goes back to the line. 89 to 79, Bradley with 2.06 to play. Hayward missed. He's now one out of five at the free throw line. That could be the only chink in his armor. Yeah, and he's got about 100 games to work on that. <laughs> Bradley by nine. Joey Meyer said it to us at halftime. It's awfully hard to beat Loyola here. Bradley has a real chance. Now there's time out on the court. We'll throw it out, and we'll be right back. Stay where you are. My interest in Shear Buick Isuzu is no secret. We're time-tested and customer-approved. In fact, the General Motors Buick division is consistently rated Shear high in customer satisfaction within our Chicago zone. Well, now we've moved into a nationwide group of 188 dealers, and you know what? We still rank among the top three. No doubt we're your number one Buick dealer in central Illinois. The numbers prove it. Count on Shear. Introducing the new soft drink with 10% real juice. Slice! We got the juice and I see blast. A burst of taste in every glass. We got the juice, we got the twist. We got what's bright and seven up and this. Real juice. Too, with 100% NutraSweet. New Slice. Dynasty, weekdays at 3 on TV 25. Brad 
Bradley by nine in Chicago with 158. And if you enjoyed it, thank you, Spart. Our sponsors, Coors Beer, Coors Light, North Point Video, Peoria, Plaza Video, Morton, Cohen's, Downstate's largest home furnier. Furnisher, 0% interest. Now there's an interest rate that you can live with. Bradley with the ball, a nine point lead. Donald Powell, Bertolini, Trempe. Bradley running some time off that clock, down to 25 on the 45. And some of the changes made to get their better free throw shooters into the game. Powell is free, but doesn't. 18 seconds on the clock, shot clock. 135 on the game clock. Mike Williams for a layup, doesn't count. He's going to be called for charging, and that one made the Bradley bench wince. And that's number four on Mike Williams. But they did take quite a lot of time off the clock. The only thing you can say about that, Klusendorf, I think, just saw this one coming. Watch him. Stands back, waits, waits, does a nice acting job, and gets the foul. Got to give him that one. Yep. 89 to 80, 132 left. The Braves in the lead. It's Loyola now that has to shoot out. Golston missed, and look at Trempe. The sophomore from Havana, yet another rebound. And now the Braves with 117 are in the driver's seat in game one. Great block by Sinar. Sinar has made some nice contributions in this game. What do you think? North Point video, Plaza video of the game. Mike Williams, big contribution to the second half, but Jimmy Les and Hersey Hawkins kept him in it throughout. They each have 24 points. Do we go with them? Absolutely. Co-players of the game. A pass to Bertolini is swatted away. Les was falling down and made that pass. Golston pulls up and scores. <laughs> One minute left. It's 89 to 82. Still a minute to play. And I guess Loyola got a timeout after that. I couldn't tell. Let's see what it's called. That's what it is. As soon as Golston's shot went through, somebody jumped up and called timeout. Each team has one timeout left in this game. And what a game it's been. Bradley ahead 25 to 13 in the early going. Trailing at halftime. Trailing by 11 in the second half. Reclaiming the lead and now the ball. And now they're just going to come right back out. And here comes the press and there's an unidentified Loyola player. <laughs> Wearing a polo shirt running across. I don't know what that was all about. Trempe against full court pressure. 55 seconds. Bradley by seven. Trempe and Les outside with Bertolini. Bradley in, the, in their four corners. They'll want to keep it in Jimmy's hands as much as possible. He's the excellent free throw shooter. They converge on him to Bertolini. 40 seconds. Bradley by seven. An upset in the making. Sinar intense. It's a two shot violation as he got Len Bertolini. Now they'll call that the intentional foul, which we talked about as one of the rule changes. And I'm assuming that goes into effect here. Well, this is, this is a two-shot foul. I don't believe that rule is going to go into effect on the ones late in the game here where they're just trying to foul to get a guy under the line. They will get the two shots, but I believe Loyola is going to get the ball. 38 seconds to go, and Bertolini missed. There's still time for Loyola in this game. And the Bradley bench knows it. Bertolini got it in. And there's 90 for Bradley. Three for Bertolini. The Braves set back defensively zone. Golston wants to get one off. Hayward will. It didn't go. Trempe rebounds again. Three key rebounds for Trempe with 23 seconds. Bradley by eight. Trempe has really made a contribution on the boards here. Les is bumped and fouled, and that's what Bradley wants to do. And Bradley's on their way to an upset victory against NCAA returning Loyola, and the Bradley crowd is up. There's a pretty big contingent here. They're way up in the rafters, but they're making noise, and there's a look. That's some of the folks down lower, and there's some of the folks way up above making as much noise as possible. Frank, you talked about it, and we would be remiss if we didn't mention Trevor Trippi's contributions. Not only inside helping out with the rebounding, but he started out at the point and doing things out there. That's tough to do. Trempe has eight rebounds in the game against some real horses. And he led Bradley in assists in the first half. Jimmy Les and Hersey Hawkins, cold players of the game. Les does it again. And Bradley, 92 to 82, is going to be a winner in Chicago. Golston, they let him go, and he gets it in off the glass. 
92-84, Les is on the other end to Powell, a stinger. And that'll cap it. And that will cap it. It's over. Bradley in an impressive 94-84 win in Chicago. A nice punctuation point and a big win for Dick Versace, who so loves this town and has had so much difficulty winning. Only a second win in Chicago, and you see how happy he is. Dick Versace running to join his very happy band of young braves as they have come back from a 40 to 37 halftime deficit and then 11 point deficit in the second half to win going away and mike you might add in a very aggressive and impressive manner several important figures in this game mike williams certainly impressive because he came back in that second half and gave them what they needed less than hawkins doing it from the outside and it leads to a win Bradley wins 94-84. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for Vice and then the news. Good night.